guys, welcome back to my channel or should I say Susu Dika. So I can't stop talking about the Sims 4 for rent expansion pack. I'm just so overly excited about it and I just constantly scrutinizing and trying to get updates of this pack and today the Sims 4 gave us a teaser trailer and you know what? We're gonna get... Drum roll please! We're gonna get five new traits and four new aspirations. Woo! And this trailer also shows us CAS items, which I'm gonna go into it. But before that, before that, I'm gonna show you guys something. Like this is just too cute. Do you notice like how they greet each other? They said Susu Dika. And I, if I'm not wrong, if I heard it correctly, and then the guy will say Susu Dika. <gasps> Oh my god, this is just too cute. I When I first saw it, I was like, oh no, I just can't believe it. This is this detail is just... I love this detail so much. Just so much. I just don't know. I have no words to describe it. Like, I just love it so much. This is a simlish version of the Thai greeting Sawadika. For women in Thailand, when they greet, they will say Sawadika. And then for men, they will say Sawadika. And then I think she said Susu Dika. And then the guy said Susu Dika. So I think that's what I heard. I, I tried to replay it over and over again, but I this is what I heard. So, so we don't know. We shall see later when we get the gameplay. We shall see how it goes. And I'm just really happy that they added this little detail into The Sims 4. The greeting is just... It just it just makes the whole thing like so real like whoa like they just add the greeting like okay okay I mean just the greeting alone just makes me so excited over it. With this new video, we also get to see more of Tomorang. And look at the world of Tomorang. Isn't this beautiful here? See, there's a town here. And then um, there's this um, tropical rainforest at the back there. Although this is highly inspired by the town in Thailand, but I have to say it looks pretty much the same as the small towns here in Malaysia as well. Like we have the small town here like um it's just like business um cafes and just shops office lots and this kind of like low it's not really a high-rise building but it's quite low it's just probably three or four stories and then the back there we will see the tropical rainforest at the background and finally we have air conditioner compressor that was stick by the side of the building i look at these i've been using rooftop compressor from city living and i try to elevate it by the side and then uh, and then kind of like make it stick to the side it's really difficult i had a really hard time and i wasted a lot of time trying to get it stick to the side of the um, building and at the end it kind of looks really funny so i don't really like it uh, I didn't really like it, but it's kind of like a hack for me to do it, like to make it look like as if I have a aircon compressor hanging by the side of wind, hanging by the side of the building. But now I don't have to do this anymore because we are going to get this air conditioner compressor and we can just add it into the building. Wait, I hope so. I hope so that we are going to get it. Or maybe we can just... Because sometimes this building will be in the debug items and then um, the compressor, the aircon compressor actually just comes with the building and then we don't have any way to separate it. So I just I just want to hope that it's a decorative item that we can use to for our building. Okay, so air conditioner compressor aside. And this video shows us new CAS items as well. There are clothes for infants, toddlers, until and elderly. Honestly, at first glance, the clothes look kind of similar to the clothes in Island Living, just that the patterns and the prints are different. And honestly, I was really expecting more of um, Southeast Asian traditional clothes. Like maybe, for example, in Thailand, they have the Chat Thai. A direct translation is called Thai outfit. In Malaysia, we have the Baju Kebaya. In Philippines, they have the Barot Saya. But don't get me wrong, the clothes here are pretty. I love it. But it's just that I kind of like want something a little bit more traditional and it really shows the culture of Tomorang. And perhaps maybe something a little bit more of a twist of of traditions like something modern and something tradition like i really love the clothes in um sims 4 the the kit from the uh, streetwear kit where it's a mixture of modern and traditional indian clothes so it's the clothes there is like really pretty so i was kind of like expecting some similar concept where we get the clothes um something like this like there's a twist of a modern and traditional clothes in this new pack but so far i see kind of like 
most of it is kind of like modern clothes. Like there's not many traditional clothes here. But anyway, I think we're getting an ao yai, which is a traditional Vietnamese clothing. It looks like an ao yai at first glance, but from what I know, ao yai has long sleeve and the top has high slits as well. So I'm not too sure. I need my Vietnamese friends to confirm this with me, whether this is an ao yai. So I'm not too sure whether this is an ao yai or not, or maybe something that was inspired by an ao, but, or maybe this is a cloak that is inspired by the ao yai. I'm not too sure about that. And check out the new hairstyles we're getting. It's, I like how accurate this boy's haircut looks like. With just one look, it really reminded me of a Thai young boy's haircut. And look at this new hairstyle. It's really cute. And look at the earring. I love the earring so much. It kind of looks like something what I'm wearing right now. Or maybe no, not really. <laughs> It just when I see this pair of earrings, I was just it just reminded me of this earring. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just wear these for this video. Okay, moving on from clothing. Now we are going to look into the five new traits that will be given to us. So the first one we are going to have is cringe. Oh my god, this is going to be so fun. I'm going to make my scene to be super cringe and super annoying and uh constantly going around doing cringy stuff. And I can't wait to see how my other sims react to her. Maybe I should make all the teenagers in the sims gameplay really cringy and they're constantly dabbing and doing the t post challenge in school can you imagine that you know just let them miss class in school and then we have generous i wonder how the gameplay is going to be like maybe we can create a generous auntie that loves to cook constantly hosting potluck party and giving out food she used to be like you know come 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 you need to eat more you need to eat more help yourself so we're gonna create a generous auntie and then the next week i'm going to to have is nosy this is a perfect trait for eliza pancakes i don't know why when i saw this nosy trait it just reminds me of eliza pancakes she's everywhere in my gameplay she's always trying to chat with my sim i'm definitely going to give eliza pancake this nosy trait and then the fourth trait will be wise and then we have chow of the village which reminds me of the chow of the island from the island living pack sims so for the island living pack sims with the um chow of the island trait can actually summon spirits so i'm really excited of this chow of the village trait. i was wondering like can we summon village spirits maybe and in this video also it shows the child is holding a paper lantern and um child is going to release it into the sky so i think we will be getting a sky lantern event or or also known as a Yiping Festival in the game. Yiping Festival is a festival in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and it falls on November 26th this year, which is just a few weeks away. The release of lanterns symbolizes letting go of all the ills and misfortunes from the previous year, allowing people to start the new lunar year. I saw this post where someone asked if gameplay trailer soon, and the Sims replied, Soonish! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think we'll be getting a gameplay trailer soon, but when? They said soonish. Soonish is when. Honestly, I got a confession to make. I did a really stalkerish thing. I went to the Horse Ranch expansion pack trailer and I went to check out that it was released on 23rd June and then the gameplay trailer was released on the 6th of July and that is just two weeks apart and and the For Ran expansion pack trailer was released last week 2nd November so who knows maybe we are getting the gameplay trailer next week I don't know I don't know, hmm. But this is just my silly stalker analytic. So I could be wrong and the gameplay trailer could be released a week after that. So we shall see when. So thank you so much guys for reaching the end of this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and um, stay tuned for more videos coming to you. And I'll see you guys next time. Duck duck.